Now, I think we've all learned about HHT or hereditary hemorrhagic telangiectasia when it comes to the lungs, right? We were all taught that you can get multiple pulmonary AVMs, and interventional radiologists can be quite successful in terms of treating those pulmonary AVMs with embolization, usually with coils or balloons. But I think people don't realize that it's very common for HHT to involve the liver as well. And some of these liver cases can be amongst the most striking, dramatic examples of HHT that you can see anywhere. Notice in this example, both on the CT and on the MRI, that there is bizarre background hyperenhancement throughout the liver. Multiple small vascular lakes, multiple telangiectasias, multiple vascular malformations. Notice in addition that despite the fact that we're in a relatively early phase of imaging, there's marked dilatation of the IVC and the hepatic veins, all of which are being dilated. There's early enhancement, and the hepatic arteries are absolutely humongous. The hepatic arteries are probably the size of the aorta. Very common appearance of HHT where you get massive vascular shunting, all of your vessels are going to light up in the early arterial phase, you're going to see multiple telangiectasias and AVMs in the liver, and the liver itself will show very, very unusual heterogeneous hyperenhancement. If I see this kind of appearance, even without a known underlying history, I'm going to be able to make a specific diagnosis of hereditary hemorrhagic telangiectasia of the liver. And this is an important diagnosis. These patients can develop cirrhosis as well as right-sided heart failure as a result of shunting of blood through the liver.